Hey guys, it's Nikki with This Robin's Nest. If you're new to my channel, thank you for checking it out and tuning in. And to all my other friends, thank you for watching. You guys have been amazing in following my channel and helping it grow. So in today's video, to get started, I'm gonna share with you some great items that are all $1.50 a piece that will help build your crafting, gifting, um, and stationery supplies. So, everything that I purchased here today is from Michael's Craft Store, and to build my crafting, stationery, and gifting stock supply, I usually shop at Michael's Craft Store or at the Target Dollar Spot because I like to keep the crafting supplies um, in our budget range. Let me start with note cards, you guys. So, right now, Michael's has a fabulous selection of crafting supplies, especially if you love um, girly items, really feminine things that are in spring colors. They're wonderful. The first thing I picked up is this pack of note cards and it says thinking of you. I'm hoping that it shows up on the camera there. And they're a pack of six for a dollar fifty. So they're approximately what? A quarter a piece exactly so 25 cents for a thinking of you card um, is great and I love the pink with the gold foiling detail and then they come with these bright pink envelope enclosures great thing to have in your stationery here's another one it says hello there so just dropping a note and you could really this is universal I mean you could use it for so many different occasions just by printing um, what you want to on the inside it's also a six pack, quarter a piece. Thank you cards. This is something that I think is like a dying breed. I feel like nobody sends out thank you cards anymore. And um, I'm guilty of it myself. You know, we used to send them out for everything and we've kind of slowed down. And I want to get back into the, the art of sending thank you notes again. So that's always something that you can use in your stationery is thank yous. Hey guys, these are the really fun ones. Now, anytime that I can find something that's blank because it can be used for any occasion, I jump on it because um, it's not specific to any holiday. And I love the macaroons. Is it macaroon or macaron? You guys can feel free to correct me down below. But this is a stack. I'm just bringing it a little bit closer here. Um, and they have some glitter and like foil detailing on them. And for $1.50, you guys, to get that kind of detail and have it look like a really nice professional card is wonderful. So a quarter piece for all of the ones I'm going to be showing you. <clears throat> Here's another set. And they're really sophisticated, but yet they have, you know... Um, a youthful flair to them with the macaroons and the colors. This one here is really cute. It's got a dome shaped lid on a pedestal with the macaroons again. It's focusing on my face, I think. So I don't know what's going to focus on the card. I can see in my little viewfinder the box following my face around. So um, let me see if I put those in front of my face if they'll focus in for you guys. Those are really sweet. So those are probably my favorite cards that I picked up for my stationary collection and then I got this ice cream cone one which is really pretty and the detailing is nice on that one and those are all blank so you can use them for any occasion which is my biggest tip when you're picking up stationery at the store. For gifting um, they always have um, nice packaging and anytime I find little fabric envelopes or like the burlap ones that have, have the ties on them, I pick it up because those can be used for a lot of different occasions. And these I happen to pick up for my daughter's birthday party. It's Alice in Wonderland inspired tea party and um, I'm going to use these for her gifts to her friends who are coming. And I picked them up in several colors. So there was a burlap, a green, and those can be great for year round based on the color that you pick up. If you pick up this burlap one, you can use this for any holiday, Easter, Christmas, you know, birthdays, whatever. Okay, so let's move on to some great ribbons for $1.50, you guys. <clears throat> so this is a box of trim, and you can see there's four different styles in there, and or actually there's five. One's tucked up at the top. So you get five one yard strands so you get um, five yards so what's there's three feet in a yard so 15 yards of ribbon for a dollar fifty that's an amazing value you guys and then I picked up another one and this is gonna look really similar on camera but they're different 
shades. Um, one collection is a little bit darker, deeper tones than the other one. And this is the same amount of ribbon and these are in a mint green color with white detailing. Now, what can you use the ribbon for? You can use it for gift wrapping around um, packages. If you stick with a solid color wrapping paper like a um, butcher paper, then you can um, really use any colors that you want to accent it. And then also I use them to make banners with and you know, you can use them for scrapbooking. I'm not a huge scrapbooker, booker, um, but you could use them for that and also for card making. Here is the same collection but in pink shades here. And then they have the more natural looking trim and these are more like your burlap and your twine and they had this really um, pretty natural greens, natural and green ones there. And, and the twine is probably more so what I would use for banners or rickrack I would use for banners. And then they had this one that has like Kelly Green ribbon and kind of like cream trim. And finally I picked up this kind of like Robin's Egg Blue, which is similar to the other ones, but um, just a different shade again. Okay, so now we've covered some gift packaging, some um, trim, and cards. Let's move on to tags. These are a little bit more of a luxury item in my opinion because they're still $1.50 but you get one item and they're just more of a specialty item. These are little metal tags and this one here says happy birthday and they come with twine on the back but they're metal you guys. They're really really cool and so this is a little bit more of a luxury item for your gifting supplies um, but they're really fun and I think much more creative than using a bow. I hate to even say this, but I think for me, bows have, are kind of uh, a little bit out of style. I like to do different type of um, accenting on my packages. And so I think hanging this metal tag from either a basket from the Dollar Tree or anything like that, putting a gift together would be really super special. And it's something that somebody could reuse. They had quite a different um, array of styles. And so I just picked them up to show you guys. There is this mint green one that says live, laugh, love on it. A white one that has a feather, embossed feather, and it says for you. Again, I like um, some of these because they can be used for any occasion. I thought this would be really sweet for a wedding gift, and actually I know where this one is going. And it says congrats to you. Another pink one, and this one says, thank you. And finally, another one that says, thank you in a different color. So I think that those are really fun and creative, and it can look like you spent a lot more money than you did using something like that, instead of like a bow. Okay, next I'm gonna move on to journals. If you are a list maker or an organizer, or you like to do journaling, they have some really pretty journals out right now, and $1.50 is a great price for these. These are really, really cute. So this one says journal, and it's pink with the gold binding down the side. I constantly make lists. I um, use books to like log all of my daughter's clothing, and when I go to sell it, what I paid for it, what, it, what I sold it for, so what, what we actually paid for her to own it and wear it, what the cost of the garment was. Um, I, I, I make a whole bunch of different lists. This one says make your dreams come true and it has a bike on the front with a little basket of flowers. There's an aqua one that says make it happen. This might be a good goal book. Same as this one, believe in impossible things. I think this has an arrow down at the bottom, yeah, which is really cute. My daughter's upstairs trying to take her nap and she she's her most active in talking when she lays down to go to sleep so you guys might hear her in the background. This one says I am beautiful, I believe in overdressing, I believe in lipstick, I believe in manicures, I believe in high heels, I am gorgeous, it's just fun. And, and these make great gifts too so I picked some of these up for possible gifts in the future. Gold with the white writing. And finally this one says the simple things. 
Now they had a ton of different options for journals, you guys. And obviously I didn't clear out the whole store or buy one of everything. Although I purchased some so that you guys could see them. But they had a lot more choices than what I'm showing you. Another way to make lists is on the notepads, you guys. So these are magnetic list pads. You could put them to your fridge. You can write your grocery list on it, your to-do list for the day. My daughter personally loves to write on these things and then stick them all over the house. She ha uses my washi tape and she just attaches them. Her name will, she'll be writing her name over and over again. But So we go through quite a few of these. So I picked them up. This one is says... Ooh la la, and it's got a heart up at the top, and it's gold. Hello, beautiful, with a telephone. These also are good to stack up, um, stock up in your stationary supply because they could be used on your fridge. They could be given as gifts. I think these make like a great housewarming gift type of a thing. I think it's nice to set somebody up with like a little address book, one of these, and a pen somewhere where they can, you know, organize when they answer the phone and take messages or things like that. They had really, really pretty monogrammed ones. Um, this is M. It's in the soft yellow color. Liked that one. This matches one of the journals. It says my list with an arrow down the side. And this matches one of the journals. It says notes. This also matches one of the journals and the note cards. They had coordinating everything, you guys. And then to-do list with the bike. So I think that's another item to stock up on um, if you like making lists, taking notes, and all that kind of fun stuff, organization. These items are gonna be just fun things that I use sometime in the future. They don't have a purpose now, but for $1.50, um, I think it was worth it to buy them instead of make them. So if you make cards, these are really great because you can just attach them on the card. They say, thank you, you're the best, and they are paper flowers that are already constructed. If you're good at making paper flowers, this might not be as good a value for you, but I'm not. So um, I picked these up and I really love the colors. I thought they were quite beautiful. They could also be used for scrapbooking. Here is another set in white and these say hello and thank you and I will probably be combining this with one of the metal tags on a wedding present wrapped in butcher paper. This one is in blue and green shades. I picked up the three different colors that they had in those. These are some paper flowers that would also be good for, um, well they could be used for card making or wrapping presents or scrapbooking. So you guys see a theme of I like to pick things up that could be used for many different purposes and they're really pretty colors for spring. And finally I picked up this set of flowers and these are pre-made paper flowers with a little center. Now I think these are a good value because you get five for a dollar. We're in the a dollar fifty. In the other pack you got two and they are a little bit more complete with sayings but I think that these um, are a better value to me. Okay, finally, this is something that I picked up from my daughter's um, tea party, Alice in Wonderland theme, and kind of unrelated to the rest of the items. But these are going to be for giveaways to her friends, and I showed you the bags that I'll be using that I picked up already. And these are the sweetest little set of two bobby pins for $1.50, and they came in blue and pinks. Cream, and then they had two different styles. I don't have the blue one out here, but it came in blue and pink, and they're more of a little flower, flowering detail. So I picked those up for giveaways for girls. I haven't quite found what to give the boys yet for the birthday party. And then they had these in the section, which are going to be great for decorating for an Alice in Wonderland tea party. They have clips on the back. They're butterfly clips, and they had a light blue, a purple a dark blue and a pink. So I'll either place those somewhere on the table decor, possibly clip them onto a plant or flowers. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that I showed you a couple of things that you could find to help add to your um, crafting and stationery and gifting supplies on a budget. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you in the next video. Take care. <laughs>